Hello, 8th graders, and welcome to your new English lesson. The topic of today's lesson is We Are All Different. My name is Tayana Bundara, and I will be your English teacher today. In this lesson, you are going to watch a video on critical thinking. And after today's lesson, you will be able to write a rap song or a song using the vocabulary and terms from the lesson. I hope you will enjoy it. So, let's start. Let's set you up for today's lesson. So, get hold of your pen or a pencil, prepare your notebook, your mobile phone, and a QR code reader. Let's start. So, we are all different, right? So take a look at these pictures and tell me what do they all have in common? Right, the differences, but at the same time there are some similarities. I'm not playing with you, it's true. Think about it for a second. They are all different, yet the same. Okay, let's go a bit deeper into this topic. Some of you might have done that on the previous slide. Let's see, what do they have in common? What do you think? Pause the lesson, grab your notebook and your pencil and start writing their similarities and their differences. I am sure we have come up with similar ideas. So they are all young, happy, active, at about the same age. They go to school. They have probably similar hobbies and do similar sports. And what is different? Gender, race, nationality, skin color, culture, and religion, probably. However, if we wish to embrace these differences, we need to develop cultural sensitivity. We need to learn to appreciate the differences, develop tolerance and critical thinking skills. But before we go any further into the lesson, let's go through these key words. Pause the video lesson, read these explanations and match them with the corresponding words. OK, let's check. So, stereotype, a fixed image or idea of a particular type of person or group based on race, age, nationality or gender. Prejudice, an unreasonable opinion or feeling, especially the feeling of not liking a particular group of people. Critical thinking, thinking that is free as free as possible from bias and prejudice. Bias, an attitude that you have that makes you treat someone in a way that is unfair or different from the way you treat other people. And assumption, a belief or expectation that something is true, although you don't have evidence. So bias, pristranost, prejudice, predrasuda, assumption, predpostavka. I am sure you did well. Let's move on. So what characteristics are necessary to appreciate and embrace the differences? Empathy. We need to be open-minded. We need to have respect for each other. It is necessary to be tolerant. And one crucial element is 
The top priority, actually, we need to be critical thinkers. More on that coming up in a second. And do you know what happens if, if we see the differences as something that is not normal? Well, please pause the video lesson, grab your notebook and your pen or a pencil and write down your thoughts. Then we have cases of bullying, discrimination and racism. So it is very important to keep prejudice, predrasude, unreasonable opinion of not liking someone or stereotypes, fixed ideas of other people based on gender, nationality, age or race away from our minds. Are all men better drivers than women? What do you think? Well, no. Do all Asians like to eat rice? I don't think so. That's why we have human rights. They protect key values in our society. Fairness, dignity, equality and respect. Let's see if you have mastered all the key terms. Scan the QR code or type the bit.ly address into your browser and play this true or false online game. The bit.ly address is bit.ly slash number four, all capital letters, different ones. So being or becoming a critical thinker is very important, crucial when it comes to accepting differences. Do you know how to become a critical thinker? Let's find out. So I've got a great video for you on how to think critically. And before watching the video, I'd like to ask you to copy these questions into your notebook. And remember, during watching, you can pause the video as many times as you need and write down the answers and simply work at your own pace. So please scan the QR code or type the Beatly address into your browser and do your task. The Beatly address is beat.ly slash number two, all capital letters, critical thinking. So let's check how to think critically. Well, analyze, compare and synthesize. Easy. How can critical thinking help you? Well, it can help you defend your opinion and evaluate theories by finding weaknesses and strengths. What does synthesize mean? It means to combine elements, ideas, arguments, viewpoints into a single idea. Can critical thinking be improved? Yes, it can, as long as you keep your mind alert and stimulated. Well done, good job. As we have already mentioned, avoiding prejudice and stereotypes is essential when it comes to accepting differences. It is easy to judge others and a tough job keeping our minds free from bias, pristranos and prejudice, predrasuda. It's not always easy to be critical thinkers. Have you ever felt someone has decided for you and has put you in a group because you're a boy or a girl? It's not the grouping that is bad. What can be harmful is when we think that everyone in a group is the same. So it is important to see people as individuals. Do you know any examples of stereotypes? The definition is right here to help you think about it. So think of gender-based stereotypes culture-based stereotypes and group-based stereotypes. 
And now please pause the lesson, grab your notebook and a pen or a pencil and write down your examples. Okay, let's compare. So, some people say girls are bad at sports. This is a gender-based stereotype. All Asians are good at math. Or all teenagers are rebels. Well, I don't think so. So, how to avoid stereotypes? Let's watch a video and your task is to answer this question. So let's watch this funny video and don't forget to write your answer to this question. How to avoid stereotypes. And please bear in mind that you can watch the video as many times as you want and pause it at any time you need. Enjoy it! Let's compare our answers. So, if we wish to avoid stereotypes, it is very important to avoid fixed images or ideas, to be open-minded and respectful, and to see people around us as individuals with all their uniqueness. I'm sure you have come up with similar answers. Well, great job! So there are many words people use for those that stick out from a crowd, for the different ones, but not all of them are positive, so you have to be careful. So maverick refers to someone who is independent with unusual opinions and is generally viewed as a positive word. Oddball is someone who behaves in a strange or unusual way someone who is strange in his or her personality or appearance. So this one has a negative meaning. Character refers to someone who is interesting or unusual, usually means something positive. This one refers to, for example, an original thinker, someone who is able to produce new and interesting ideas. Rare bird is someone who is unusual, uncommon, or exceptional as a person or as a thing. Weirdo. If you describe someone as a weirdo, you disapprove of them because they behave in an unusual way which you find difficult to understand or accept. So be careful with these words you use for yourselves in case you feel different sometimes or you wish to describe someone that sticks out from a crowd. I suggest you pause the video and copy all these words into your notebook because you might need them for your homework. And now I would like to prepare you for your homework. You are going to hear two songs and these are your tasks. What are the messages? And support the messages with the song quotations. Ebony and Ivory is a duet between Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder using piano keys as a metaphor. During listening, don't forget to do your task. So please scan the QR code or type the Beatly address into your browser and enjoy the song. The Beatly address is beat.ly slash number four capital letters Ebony Ivory. Enjoy it! Here comes our next song. Where is the love by Black Eyed Peas? So please scan the QR code or type the Beatly address into your browser. Enjoy the song and do the task. The weekly address is beat.ly slash number four black letter E P's. Enjoy it! 
So Ebony and Ivory is a song about racial harmony using piano keys as a metaphor. The black keys on the piano are Ebony and the white ones are Ivory. The song asks why we all can't live together in perfect har harmony like the keys. Do you have quotations that support your opinion? Here are mine. Please compare your quotations with your classmates and your teacher. I am sure you did well. Where is the love by Black Eyed Peas? Let's compare our thoughts and discuss. So respect, empathy, open mind are essential to avoid racism discrimination, bullying, and finally, wars. And here are the quotations to support my opinion. Please compare yours with your classmates and your teacher. And what is the key to keeping your mind free from bias and prejudice? The answer is very simple. It's love. So we have to find love in our hearts for whatever we do. Well, the final conclusion is that we should definitely celebrate the differences. We learn from the differences. We grow from them. We become better people. I've got some inspirational quotations about differences, which I would like you to use in your homework. That is, in the end, I'd like you to write a rap song or a song titled We Are Different and use, among other things, one of these quotations. So please pause the lesson and copy a quotation you might use in your rap song into your notebook. And here it is, the final step of today's lesson, your homework. So, for your homework, I would like you to write a rap song or a song titled, We Are All Different. Make sure you use the new vocabulary and a synonym for being different. One inspirational quotation, try to mention stereotypes and prejudice, and do show your critical thinking. Good luck with your work and have fun. Let's reflect on today's lesson. Pause the lesson, copy these beginnings of sentences into your notebooks and finish them in silence or while listening to Ebony and Ivory or the Black Eyed Peas. And remember, we get nothing from judging something or someone we don't know. Let's open our minds and hearts Learn and enjoy the diversity ride. Thank you all for watching and taking part in this lesson. I truly hope you have enjoyed it and learned something new. Until the next time, goodbye.